Hi, I'm Tangles. This is my garage and this is my car. Okay, here I am again. Um, just want to run through the couple of very minor things I have done to the car. Obviously we've covered, you know, I bought wheels. I wouldn't really call that a mod, but you know, some people might. Not all these are mine, <laughs> unfortunately. There's some some semi-slicks there, which would be nice to own, but I don't. Um, tear off another car. The very first thing, I think, before I even, um, before I even bought the wheels, was to whip this out. This, for anyone who doesn't know, is the standard high case unit for an R33 GTST. It's electronic. The R32 has had a hydraulic system, uh, which is much more complex as far as getting it out of the car is concerned. Um, I think I've got some photos, which will probably be up on screen now, of the, the high case lockout bar. Um, just one important thing to note don't wind out. This is where the, uh, the tie rods screw in here, don't wind them out all the way uh, because you're going to put a massive amount of load on it and then when it does come out of that thread it's liable to fly through here and either damage you or, or anything else that, that's around it. Um, if it you know, hit you in the hand it quite quite easily breaks some bones or fingers. Um, it's not a particularly difficult job, um, you know, loosen all of them together and then undo the two main bolts up here to allow this to swing free of the car and it'll hang down below where it mounts uh, and at which point these should be then finger tightable um, you should just wind them out with your fingers if you can't it's not a massive drama just yeah you know, use a spanner it takes a bit longer um, and then similar with putting the lock bar in which because the car is jacked up at the front at the moment it's going to be very difficult to get to but I'll see what I can do um, when you're putting the lock bar in Oh yeah, I can see it. You want to ensure that you do the same in the reverse process. You want to get both ends started uh, before you then do these two two bolts here. Uh, you'll have a little bit of surplus cabling. Uh, there's no strap there. I just zip tied that to the high cast itself. Stop it bouncing around. Uh, and some zip lock bags with some zip ties to seal up the. The cabling that's there, it's all still there. Uh, one very important point to note. <laughs> when um, when you've done that, you will need a wheel alignment. It's not going to be the same. My lockout bar was, I think, 10 millimeters shorter from memory. So I ended up with some pretty nasty toe out on the rear. Uh, once again, there should be a photo on screen about now. Um, that's, you know, fairly cheap, it was $80 or whatever, I got a four wheel alignment done at the time, um, local, local engineering, uh, mechanic shop did that, uh, in a couple of hours for me, so, not expensive, uh, very much needed, because the car did have, uh, quite the crab on it, uh, when I did that, now the next thing I did, Ah, uh, is when I bought the car, these coilovers, every corner was set at a different height. Um, so I would probably recommend you check your, your heights when you buy a car. If, you've, if, if anyone's put aftermarket springs in it or adjusted it, you probably want to check that. Um, every corner is at a different height. Uh, the spring presets, I think is what they're supposed to be called. They were all the same, um, as far as so the distance from the top of the coilover to the to the to the locking nut for the spring was the same, but the distance from the spring to the mounting point was different, and that's where the height adjustment is on these coilovers. I might uh, I might be able to show you them later. Um, obviously, the adjustable dampers at the top. So uh, another thing to do there. Uh, I just adjusted it by eyebrow height, which is the height from here to the center of the wheel when it's when it's sitting under load. Um, that's about as good a method as I could find on this particular car. Some cars are a bit easier to measure from, from the chassis because um, this is all folded metal and there's not two points at the same height from the front to the rear. 
it makes it a bit difficult well not that I could confirm with the same height so Ibrary height was the, the adjustment mode of choice um, but obviously I just used my uh, my ruler to to measure the the actual distances on the coil over itself um, and then checked using the eyebrow height and, and that, you know in the eyebrow height I set it um, I think I can't remember the exact heights uh, the eyebrow height is lower at the rear than the front as well with these um, so I think it's 10 mil or 15 mil lower at the rear um, you can look that up online it's, it's pretty easy information to find I simply just adjusted them to I think 10 millimeters lower than an R33 GTR. Um, it was a lot lower than that, so I lifted it, I don't know, 20 or 30 millimeters to get to that, because um, it was it was incredibly low, uh, and you know, and crooked, which was which was not good, uh, which is why the front bar had a lot of scraping on it, because it was too low and it wasn't square. The car wasn't square. Uh, so that was that.